So there's been reports that Fred's move to Galatasaray has fallen through and people are wondering, is Fred going to stay at United? Does that mean Amrabat won't happen? Well, don't worry. Fabrizio Romano has confirmed Fred will 100% leave Manchester United 100% in his words and once Fred has left United will pursue Amrabat Romano also confirming Donny is close to leaving United with Sociedad interested and although Fred to Galatasaray looks like it won't happen lots of other clubs are interested in Fred that has been made up Hoyland is official he signed the contract is completed the medical and will be announced on Saturday Amrabat wants United and only United turning down other lucrative deals for United and he will be in England later today for a friendly uh, and his agent reportedly is also in England to get the deal done and there are reports that Amrabat to United could be done in the coming days so I will definitely do a live stream to cover that but Ben Jacobs went on the United stand today said that the Glazers are still determined sellers of United but at the right price it still seems the Glazers end goal is to sell but they just want more money but first of all we're going to dive into a news coming in out that Manchester United have put in a bid for a Turkish goalkeeper a bit of a shock new bid a player we haven't been linked to seeming that Suzuki seems to be the target but reports coming out from Turkey are saying we, we're pursuing this goalkeeper it was said Manchester United launched bid to sign another goalkeeper that's according to a Turkish outlet CNN Turks with, via Turkish football who say United are interested in young Turkish goalkeeper Bayindir probably said that one from Fenerbahce as per report United launched, launched an official move to sign the 25 year old goalkeepers entourage is now in talks with the old trafford club his entourage now in talk with the old trafford club so apparently put a bid in for this turkish goalkeeper i mean the thing is this is like a player that no one's really heard of so it would be a bit crazy to lie and link some random player to united unless an agent's doing it to get him a move elsewhere i'm not gonna act like i've heard of the player before i was partic particularly familiar with the player but i do know united want a second goalkeeper i do know suzuki seems to be the target but it's reported that suzuki's got other offers and would want to be a first team keeper um so i do think united will sign another keeper this summer i know suzuki's the first choice this seems to be the second choice but the reason we're not signing a keeper right now is because we still got dean henderson here which is crazy because not in forest haven't made their mind up between dean henderson and matt turner and not in forest don't want to give us 15 million for dean henderson but city are getting 20 million for their league one keeper um you know it's, it's i think it depends on dean henderson to be honest when we i think we will sign a keeper i think dean henderson will go I think it will probably be Suzuki or this guy, but apparently there's talks going on. Apparently we've put in a bid, which that surprises me because we've not even put in a bid for Amrabat because we look, we're acting like we can't put in a bid for anyone until we sell anyone. Although Padula said we put in a bid for Amrabat, but Romano said we haven't put in a bid for Amrabat. For Amrabat. So maybe we put in a bid for Amrabat, maybe we put in a bid for this guy, but it seems that United to sign Amrabat need to sell Fred or Donny, to sign a goalkeeper need to sell Dean Henderson. But apparently they put it a bit, we'll have to wait and see. But it was also said on the Fred Amrabat situation that from Fabrizio Romano that Fred will not join Galatasaray, other clubs are keen on him, and that Manchester United and Real Sociedad locked it in talks for a deal for Donny van der Beek. Fred will also 100% leave Manchester United. These are crucial steps in a potential move for Amrabat. So Romano has said Fred will 100% leave, but not for Galatasaray. Donny's moves to Barnes, United will go for Amrabat. I think Amrabat to United will move quickly. Less Lavia to Liverpool falls apart and they go for Amrabat. I doubt it. Maybe Chelsea because Crusaders falling apart could maybe hijack Amrabat. But I'm in the 90% club that Amrabat will happen. But I was also like that with De Jong. It was also said by Dean Jones that Amrabat to United is now really, really hot. I mean, I mean, he's doing the Gerald Romero here. The deal's hot. The deal's hot. We got told that with Frankie De Jong last summer from Gerald Romero. But the deal is really hot, let's be honest. And Romano did say Amrabat is really attract attracted by the possibility of working with Ten Hag and he really wants to join United. It's clear that we are Amrabat's first choice. He rejected Saudi Arabia, who are going to give him quadruple rages. Reportedly rejected Atletico Madrid, rejected in, uh, interest from other Premier League clubs. Because you've got to remember, 25 million, one year left on this deal, one of the World Cup stars, good midfielder in a saturated midfield market. Apparently there's a lot of clubs interested in Amrabat but United is his priority because um, reportedly he speaks English uh, which might attract him more to England just because easier to fit in uh, he's worked with Tenog before Tenog worked with him when he was particularly young and you know Man United in Champions League the Premier League's where it's at you see like you see bottom of the league Premier League clubs going and buying players from mid-table the Liga clubs and mid-table Serie A clubs because the Premier League is becoming the Super League whether people like it or not. It was also said on Amrabat by Italian sources who so do take this Florio with a pinch of salt, um, but also don't take it with a pinch of salt because Florentina are travelling to England tomorrow, or by the time this video, that will be today. 
Uh, it was said that Manchester United are set to make a decisive leap to sign Amrabat. It's a matter of time. Amrabat will be in England tomorrow with Florentina for pre-season friendly. So Amrabat's in England tomorrow. Obviously, that's true. But the bit to take a pinch of salt is that apparently it'll be decisive and they're going to make the leap for Amrabat tomorrow. We'll have to wait and see. I still think United are just not really going to do anything for Amrabat until Fred or Donny is sold just because that's how United work. But Amrabat is like how it was with Hoyland, like it was with Anana. We knew Anana was happening for like three weeks until the bids started going on and it happened. We knew Hoyland, we knew Hoyland was happening for three weeks. It is going to be the same, obviously, with um, Amrabat. Now, what is the latest on Rasmus Hoyland? I want to quickly get into this and then get straight into the takeover news. It was said on Rasmus Hoyland that new Rasmus Hoyland's contract signed a few minutes ago. Manchester United plans to unveil the Danish striker as the new striker at Old Trafford on Saturday before the Lens game, says Tribute to Romano. It was also said that Rasmus Hoyland has completed his medical as a Manchester United player and put the finishing touches to his £72 million transfer and United are finalising his visa, registration and contract. So Amrabat, not Amrabat, Rasmus Hoyland, 100% done, contract signed, medical signed, announcement on Saturday. Brilliant. Now, let's dive into the takeover news. I left the takeover news to the end of the video. I know it's in the title, but I left it to the end of the video because I am so bored of talking about it. I still feel like every story, story we get isn't something new. I think journalists are playing with fans' emotions. I think NDAs were signed and every bit of information you just can't trust. Uh, Mike Keegan is the guy for the takeover and I think Ben Jacobs has been pretty accurate with some stuff, but I always say with takeover news, it's just going boring. The Glazers need to communicate with us. Their lack of communication is not good. It's not fair on the fans. But Ben Jacobs is saying the Glazers are still determined sellers. The goal is still to sell just at the right price. And he talks about why they want more money. This is what Ben Jacobs said. The Glazers feel that with how football is advancing and the globalisation of the game, such as the new Club World Cup format, Saudi Pro League deals, gives them more opportunity to want more money for the club. And we spoke about this last week, a report coming out that they wanted 8 billion, not 6 billion. New UCL format, there might be a chance to sell TV rights, the Saudi League, more money, more investment in football. Man United will probably be worth a lot more in a few years. But the Glazers have no right to demand more money because the Glazers are essentially saying United is worth 3 billion now, but we want 6 billion because we're the Glazers, we're greedy and it's Man United. But United could be worth 10 billion in five years' time. You, you, they're asking for four how much the club will be worth in five years time well the club will only be worth that amount of five years time if football continues going the way and growing the way it is but if it's ran well as well if it's if it's run by good owners good investment you're basically saying you're going to run the club badly but but you want how much you would get for the club if you run it well the next five years with the way football's going it is it's crazy they, they just want more money that apparently they want eight billion now I think they want six billion, but maybe they're saying eight billion, so they can be like, "Look, Qatar wanted eight billion. You've got a deal for six billion. Don't lose face." I think they just want the six billion. Let's be honest. It was said due to advancements. This is uh, why there's still a level of hesitation to sell from Joe and Avram Glazer. Their point of view, um, though, is the sale is still not paused. Um, so Ben Jacobs says because of this, this is why it's paused. We all know they just pause in the deal because they want more money out of Qatar. I mean, that's what I think. I think, you know, Qatar have, have said it's either they don't sell to anyone or they sell to us. And we know the Glazers are in a position where they a position where they kind of need to sell. It's just that they want to sell it for more than they've got offers for because they think the club will be worth X amount in a few years. It was said, though, from Ben Jacobs, uh, from Qatari's side, the outcome of the sale will be yes or in Salah, i.e. either they will pull out on their own terms or they will get the move. Um, so Qatar are very much like if they think the Glazers are effing about, they'd pull out. For me... Unless Qatar pull out, still be positive with the with the takeover news. Until you get a new set coming saying that Qatar pulled out, it's going Qatar's way in my mind because he did say this, Ben Jacobs, that all six glazers are determined sellers for the right price. It's just said that that price is where the disagreements are on. I think four of the siblings are like, look, it's a good offer from Qatar. It's 5.5 billion. Clear the debt. Boom. Let's take it. Joe and Avram are like, no, we want more money. The club could be worth more in a few years. They haven't given us the six billion. They know the price has six billion. They've put four bids in. Who's to say they won't put another bid in if we delay it? And that's, I think, what's going on with the takeover. Again, I don't know what's going on with the takeover. Um, I'm just speculating off news we hear and how I'd expect the Glazers to act. I don't think many people know what's going on with the takeover because of NDA signed, but Qatar and Sir Jim probably leak a bit of information here and there. Frustration. I think the Rain Group have leaked things out. Frustration to Reuters in the past. And the feeling is from the reliable sources who seem to be in the circle is that the Glazers want more money, but they still think Qatar have the edge. Anyway, guys, please do smash that like button, subscribe down below if you're new. I will be back live later. I hope this was a good morning transfer news update. I'm trying to do more early morning videos going out at like 6, 7 or 8 a.m. UK time just to update everyone as soon as they wake up on all the news that comes out late last night. 
early morning and then do live streams in the evening let me know if you like these early morning update videos summer all the news bye